How do you feel great on vacation? Like really good? Easy. You go to Aruba. You'll spend your time relaxing on cool white sand beaches and floating in healing blue water. You'll immerse yourself in natural wonder and find your center on an island where things move at your speed. You won't just feel great. You'll feel relaxed, renewed, and ready for life. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your trip at aruba.com. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1420, How to Be Mindful During Busy Times, by Rachel Cable of rachelcable.com. And I'm Dan, and welcome back to Optimal Work Daily, or welcome for the first time if you are new here. This is where I simply read articles to you each day from great blogs that cover all sorts of work, business, and entrepreneurship-related topics. So for now, let's get right to our post as we start optimizing your life. How to Be Mindful During Busy Times by Rachel Cable of rachelcable.com Have you heard the phrase, work smarter, not harder? It's all about finding new ways to do things so you don't need to sacrifice your time, energy, and effort more than you need to. Not only do I heed this advice with my work, I try to apply it to my life as well. Even when I'm busy, I use mindfulness to stay focused, remain calm, and do what I need to do without drowning in overwhelm. If you're ready to manage busyness and start living smarter, not harder, this article's for you. Discover four meaningful ways to be more mindful during busy times and build a resilient, supportive mindfulness practice. Number one, if your heart says no, you say no. How busy are you for other people? I'm asking you this question, lovingly, because when I was particularly stressed and busy, it was rarely for my own reasons. It was because I said yes to everyone else, even when my heart said no. Be more mindful by listening to your instincts and allowing yourself to be guided by them. Sometimes it can help to write things down so you can look at the situation more objectively. Simply write the request, how you feel about it, and whether you instinctively want to say yes or no. Remember, it's fine to be busy, but make sure it's on your own terms and for reasons you believe in. Two, use your breath to manage overwhelm. Just like dehydration is a signal for water, stress and overwhelm are signals for mindfulness. If your heart is pumping, your mind is racing, and your hands are sweating, it's time to tune into your breath. Even if you only have a few seconds, one deep breath can be enough to help you find more clarity, calm, and relief. Three, change your thoughts. Mindfulness can be a powerful way to understand your thoughts and their impact on you. I actually keep a journal to write down any thoughts which trigger my emotional reactions so I can be aware of which thoughts influence me to feel certain ways. Being quote-unquote busy often has negative connotations, and our thoughts, perhaps subconsciously, prime us to feel stressed before the busyness has even begun. If this is something which resonates with you, try this exercise. Write down all your thoughts about being busy. For example, being busy means I don't have time for myself. I don't want to be busy. Being busy means I get things done. When I'm busy, I feel stressed. Being busy sometimes motivates me. Busyness can be fun. Now, go through and highlight all the thoughts which will support, uplift, and encourage you during busy times. Stick them up somewhere prominent and read them regularly, and you might start to notice that being busy doesn't change, but the way you feel about it does. And four, embrace the meaning of mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present in a non-judgmental way, which is a brilliant headspace to maintain during busy times. As much as you can, keep bringing your attention to whatever you're doing and try not to place judgment on it. How does this help? One, you're less likely to multitask, which minimizes the chances of making mistakes and helps you remain focused to get things done faster. Two, you might not have to experience as many challenging emotions, such as resentment for having to do the dishes, anger at someone else for slowing you down, or disappointment if you don't get everything done. For example, let's imagine you're being mindful while you're driving to work on the day of an important meeting. You're paying attention to the road and you're aware of what is going on in that moment. Instead of feeling frustrated by a red light, you simply notice you're at a red light. Whenever you notice your mind wandering to the day ahead, you bring your focus back to the present by paying attention to what is going on around you. Potential benefits of this mindfulness practice might be that you drive safer, you arrive at work feeling less stressed, you experience a calmer commute, and you're ready to start the day with a clear, fresh headspace. Busy times can be challenging, and being mindful might not always be simple or easy. However, find the mindfulness practices which support you and implement them as much as you can. Every effort you make will help you build a more resilient mindfulness practice, which will continue to grow and guide you to live smarter, 
not harder. You just listened to the post titled How to Be Mindful During Busy Times by Rachel Cable of rachelcable.com. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We all have non-negotiables. Maybe you never skip leg day or have to take your morning walks. But when your schedule is packed with kids' activities, big work projects, and more, it's easy to let your priorities slip. Even when we know what makes us happy, it's hard to make time for it. Therapy can help you reclaim control of your time and values. And make no mistake, therapy is for everyone. Whether or not you've been through significant trauma, therapy can be a great tool for setting boundaries, learning positive coping skills, and ultimately becoming the best version of yourself. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash workdaily today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash workdaily. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree. Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. And thanks so much to Rachel for a great post today. And uh, she's actually a podcaster as well. She is the vibrant and warm-hearted creator of the Mindful Kind podcast. Described by her listeners as genuine, down-to-earth, and encouraging, Rachel is passionate about empowering people around the world to live more mindfully in fun, simple, and meaningful ways. And she's certainly got a lot of different ways of empowering people as she writes about a variety of topics and can also be heard on a few of our other shows in the OLD network, most commonly Optimal Living Daily, though. That is the show, of course, that started it all. Okay, that's gonna wrap up another episode of Optimal Work Daily. I thank you so much for being here and be sure to do the same tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.